Arar. Welcome to the Ferality Aqua Shader beginner tutorial. We're going to go over how to add the Ferality Aqua Shader to your avatar, adding an emission texture, and configuring Lumiglow. But simply, we're going to make you look cool quickly and easily. You'll need our most up-to-date version of the Ferality Aqua Shader and Unity, with the avatar base ready to go with your texture. Double-click the Aqua Shader and import it into Unity. To change your shader to the Aqua Shader, double-click on your avatar and scroll down on the inspector. Here, you'll see all the materials of your avatar. In the drop-down menu, go to Ferality, Aqua, Aqua Shader. You might already have an emission included with your avatar. If you don't, you have to create or commission one. There are many tutorials and retexture artists that can help you with creating an emission texture, but we won't be covering it in this tutorial. In the Material Inspector, click the drop-down to switch to the LumaGlow page. Check the emission box and see if an emission shows up here. I created this one in Substance Banner. Lastly, we're going to configure LumaGlow. While there are many advanced options to mess around with, this is the easiest way to add it to your avatar. Make sure your emission color is white. Check Enable Zones under Emission Glow. Then, make sure Gradient 1 is selected in the drop-down menu. From here, you can scroll down and check Debug to quickly see if your LumaGlow is working. Make sure to uncheck Debug before uploading. And now you're done. Feel free to upload your avatar to VRChat. This is enough to get you looking cool and awesome in our club fin. Can't wait to see your amazing avatars out there. Take care. Rawr!